Hey, 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 Bradley Cook here with Home Smart. Good morning, Denver. And I want to just take a minute to talk again on the subject of inspections. Now, I've talked about inspections before. I talked about the difference between appraisals and inspections. And if you want to know more about that, check out my video on that subject. But today I'm not talking about appraisals. I'm talking only about inspections and a couple of misconceptions that have come up in the past with a couple of my seller clients that I'd like to address with you here today. So a home inspector is a third party hired by the buyer to complete a thorough review of the property and all of its systems from the roof to the foundation to the electrical, the HVAC systems, the plumbing, the appliances. It is actually common for home inspectors to present a fairly long and detailed list of things that do not work properly or soon might not continue to work properly. This is not a list of all the things that have to be fixed. It's up to the buyer to decide what to or what to request that the seller fix, and often a seller will respond by offering a cash concession at closing rather than immediately paying out of pocket to have a given problem remediated immediately. Of course, sellers can always say no, and in this market, they often do. At this point, the buyer has a choice as to whether the items that they requested to have addressed are deal breakers and wish to walk away from the deal or whether they can choose to live with the house in as-is condition and purchase it anyway with the intention presumably that they will fix these things themselves after the house is theirs. From the point of view of sellers, I'd like to dispel the misconception that the inspection is simply an opportunity for a buyer to find fault with your home and excuses to walk away from the deal. It is true that a buyer may choose to terminate a contract while sellers have very little opportunity to do so. Uh, remember that the people who are your buyers want your house. Otherwise, they would never have gone to the trouble to visit your house, have their realtor write up and present an offer, hand over thousands of dollars in earnest money, etc. The other misconception that I've come across a lot with sellers is that the home inspection is solely intended to protect the buyer. The fact is that the seller is the one who hires and pays the home inspector in almost all cases. The inspector's primary job is to protect the buyer. The seller is also protected in the admit, admittedly relatively rare cases when an inspection uncovers issues or defects that were unknown to the sellers. If these issues can be addressed to the satisfaction of both parties prior to the sale, the buyer cannot later come back and try to sue the sellers or their agent or the agent's brokerage years later when an undisclosed and undiscovered prop problem or issue comes up. So once again, Bradley Cook with HomeSmart, and I hope this has been helpful and informative to you. And as always, if you have questions, uh, whether you're watching me on YouTube, whether you're watching me on Facebook, uh, wherever you came across this video, uh, please put your questions and comments down below, and I promise that I will address them in my next series. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Denver, and give me a call if you're ready to buy or ready to sell.